Telegram has just released Blockchain Power Anonymous Numbers where you don't need a SIM card to create a Telegram account. I managed to buy one of these numbers and here's a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do so too. Telegram uses the Fragment platform which allows you to buy these numbers or even buy Telegram usernames that are being auctioned. To purchase a random number, you will need Niton and this is a cryptocurrency that's associated with Telegram. It is also possible for you to buy a number from an auction but this may cost a lot more money. To interact with Fragment, you need to have Ton in a non-custodial wallet known as Ton Keeper. This can be downloaded on your mobile app and creating a wallet is rather straightforward. You will be given a seed phrase which acts as a password to your new wallet. It is very important that you keep this seed phrase secure and not share with anyone. If a hacker is able to gain access to your seed phrase, they will have full access to all of your funds. So now that you have a wallet, you need to buy and send ton to it. There are multiple ways that you can buy the ton crypto including paying via credit card or using the telegram bot. I've chosen to use KuCoin which is a centralized exchange that lists the ton token. If you're looking to just buy a random number, I would recommend at least buying 10 ton. This is because you may have to pay some network fees when transferring TAN over to your TAN Keeper wallet. In the case of KuCoin, I needed to pay 0.1 TAN as a withdrawal fee. To send your funds over, you can go to your TAN Keeper wallet, select receive and copy this deposit address. You can paste this deposit address on the platform that you're withdrawing from. As you process the transfer, some exchanges like KuCoin may ask you to include a memo. This memo is only applicable if you are sending your funds to another centralized exchange. Since you're sending TAN to your TAN Keeper wallet, which is non-custodial and fully owned by you, you do not need to include a memo. You can leave this field blank and process the transfer. Huobi is another centralized exchange that lists the TAN token and it actually offers a much cheaper withdrawal fee of 0.01 TAN. If you're sending your funds over to your TAN Keeper wallet for the very first time, I would suggest sending over a test transaction first that contains a smaller amount of TAN. This helps to ensure that the entire withdrawal process is working and you can then send the remainder of your funds. Now that you have TAN in your TAN Keeper wallet, you can go to the Fragment platform and connect your wallet to it by scanning a QR code. You can select the option to get a random number and you will need to scan the QR code code again to confirm your payment. Once the transaction is processed, you should receive this number in your Ton Keeper wallet. The number can also be found in your mobile app and it is possible for you to send this number to another wallet as well. So now that you have this blockchain number, you can go to your Telegram app and select add account. You can copy this number over to Telegram and you need to go to the Fragment platform to get the login code. Once the process has been confirmed, you will now have a Telegram account without a SIM card and you can start entering all of the details here. If you have any questions about this entire process, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, Keeping your tongue keeper seed phrase secure is extremely important and you can find out how a seed phrase differs from a private key in my video here.